curious what you look like with a beard. Do you want to see if a mustache would make you more handsome? I'm Monika Zagrubelna from Envato Tats Plus, and in this video I'll show you how to make facial hair in Photoshop. First we're going to create two types of facial hair Photoshop brushes, a beard brush and a stubble brush, and then we're going to use them to create a convincing photo manipulation. Alternatively, you can use a facial hair Photoshop action. This action is just one of many amazing resources that you can get with the Envato Element subscription. The link's in the description. Let's move on to the tutorial now. First, we need to create a brush. Open a new file in Photoshop using these dimensions. Draw two points at a distance from each other using the Curvature Pen tool. Make sure your pen tool is currently in the path mode. Drag the line between these two points to create a slight curve. Take the brush tool now and open the brushes panel. Go to Legacy Brushes, Default Brushes, and select Round Point Stiff. Set its size to 6 pixels. Take the pen tool again, right click on the canvas, and select Stroke Path. Select Brush and check Simulate Pressure. We have our first hair. To turn it into a brush, go to Edit, Define Brush Preset. Name it Beard Temp and press OK. Create a new file with larger dimensions. Here we're going to test and adjust the settings of our brush. Set the background and foreground colors to two example colors of a beard. Press F5 to open the brush settings panel and apply the following changes. In the brush tip shape section, adjust the size and spacing. In the shape dynamics section, adjust size jitter and angle jitter. In the Scattering section, increase Scatter and Count. In the Color Dynamics section, check Apply per Tip and increase the value of Foreground, Background Jitter and Purity. This will allow us to create a multicolored beard. In the Transfer section, increase Opacity Jitter. Finally, check Noise to make the shape of the strokes less regular. Click Create a new brush, check All options, and name it Beard. You can now delete the previous brush. Let's create one more brush. Create another file and use the Line tool in the Shape mode to draw a black vertical line. Turn it into a brush as well, naming it Stubble Temp. Go back to our test file and adjust the settings of this brush the following way. In the Brush Tip Shape section, adjust the size and spacing. In the Shape Dynamics section, adjust size jitter. In the Scattering section, increase scatter. In the Transfer section, increase opacity jitter. Finally, check Noise. Save the brush and name it Stubble. Now we're ready to add some facial hair to our model. Open the photo that you want to use for this purpose. Take the Object Selection tool and outline roughly the lower part of the face. Create a new layer and add a layer mask to it. Name this layer Beard. Take a soft round brush and paint a basic shape of the facial hair with black. Double-click the Beard layer and go to the Blend Diff section. Hold the Alt key and drag the lower white marker to make the beard more transparent. Create a new layer and name it Detailed Hair. Press the Alt key and drag the layer mask from the previous layer to it. Lower the opacity of the beard layer to make it more subtle. Now select both colors for your beard and start painting the hair using the beard brush. Try to paint over the area painted on the layer below. 
because facial hair grows in different directions depending on the area in the face, open the brush settings panel and change the angle and shape of the hair with these settings. You can also check Flip X to turn the curve the other way. Adjust the density of the hair and the size of the brush depending on the area for a more natural effect. Start slow, covering the area defined by the previous layer and only then make the hair denser where it needs to be. The more attention you pay to the direction of the hair, the more natural the end result will be. If you paint the whole beard without adjusting the settings, it's likely to look fake. Duplicate this layer with Ctrl J. Hide it for a moment and go back to the previous layer. Double click the layer and go to Blend Diff section. Drag the lower white marker to the left until the beard starts disappearing. Then press the Alt key and drag it some more to create a smoother transition between the skin and the beard. Now go back to the copied layer and make it visible. Take the soft round brush and paint with black on the layer mask to remove the hair. Then make the brush smaller and paint with white to reveal the thin layer of hair around the face. You can also use it to make certain patches of hair darker. To make the effect more realistic, create a new layer and paint some stubble on it using the stubble brush. Just as previously, adjust the angle in the settings. You can also change the roundness to adjust the length of the hair. When you're done, you can make the effect smoother with a layer mask. Let's shade the beard a little now. Open the Adjustments panel and select Hue Saturation. Press the Alt key and drag the layer mask of the beard layer to it. Make the lightness lower and the saturation higher to create a nice looking shadow. Then paint over the layer mask with a soft brush to remove the shadow from the illuminated areas. The beard is done and now you can only add minor adjustments to it to make it look more convincing to you. You can lower the opacity of the beard layer to make the effect subtler, paint on the masks to remove hair from certain areas, or add more hair. Adding lighter hair in the brighter areas may make it look shiny, but you need to turn off color dynamics for that. And that would be all! If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Also, click the bell icon to be notified of new videos on the Envato Tats Plus channel. This was Monika Zagrobelna for Envato Tats Plus. Thanks for watching!